What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, I'm gonna give you some synonyms for five commonly overused adjectives so that your speech is richer and more varied. As they say, variety is the spice of life. On top of that, knowing synonyms can help you avoid repetition both in your speaking and writing exams. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook, go to the section for adjectives, and let's kick off! First, I want to offer you 10 alternatives to the adjective expensive. The first option you can use is exorbitant. Exorbitant. For example, this lawyer's fees are exorbitant. The second synonym is outrageous. Outrageous. An example sentence, 5,000 euros for a bag is outrageous. The third option, overpriced. Overpriced. For example, this apartment is lovely, but clearly overpriced. Number four, high-priced. High-priced. Let's put it into an example sentence. Traveling to Australia is high-priced, but totally worth it. Number five, pricey. Pricey. For example, this restaurant is lovely, but pricey. Number six, costly. Costly. An example sentence. This sofa is comfortable, but costly. Number seven, one verb that you can use is to cost a fortune. To cost a fortune. For example, this house must have cost a fortune. Number eight, an idiom, to cost an arm and a leg. To cost an arm and a leg. An example sentence, a Tesla costs an arm and a leg. Number nine, we've got an expression, that's a ripoff. That's a ripoff. For example, paying five euros for a bottle of water is a ripoff. It's what usually happens at the airport. And last but not least, a noun, an unreasonable price. An unreasonable price. For example, the hotel room has an unreasonable price. Now let's move on to our second adjective, which is cheap. We're going to look at seven ways to replace it. The first one is inexpensive. Important, the prefix is in and not an. Inexpensive. For example, the dinner was delicious, but inexpensive. The second option is affordable. Affordable. For example, the trip to Bali is affordable. Another synonym is economical. Economical. For example, his hybrid car is economical. Number four, reasonably priced. Reasonably priced. An example sentence, this cafe is reasonably priced. Number five, low priced. Low priced. For example, there are a lot of low priced smartphones. Number six, I've got a slang adjective, cheapo. Cheapo. Important, it must be followed by a noun. For example, we were assured of money and had no other choice but to stay in a cheapo hotel. And the last alternative, a noun, a bargain. A bargain. For example, this dress is a real bargain. Now let's move on to our third commonly overused adjective, which is crowded. So I'm gonna give you six synonyms for crowded. The first one is packed. Packed. For example, we couldn't get a table, the restaurant was packed. Another option is to add jam to packed. Jam packed. For example, 
The city center is jam-packed with the tourists. The third synonym is packed or squashed like sardines. Squashed or packed like sardines. For example, we are packed like sardines on the bus. Number four, overcrowded. Overcrowded. An example sentence, New York is an overcrowded city. Number five, a super funny adjective, chocolate block. Chocolate block. For example, I was half an hour late because the road was chocolate block with cars. And last but not least, the British adjective rammed. Rammed. For example, Valencia is rammed with tourists at Fayas. Now let's move on to our fourth adjective, tired. It's commonly overused and here I've got lots of synonyms. 12 ways to replace tired. The first synonym is also a very common adjective, exhausted. Exhausted. For example, I've been working very hard lately. I'm exhausted. Number two, drained. Drained. For example, I feel drained when I don't get eight hours of sleep. The third option, worn out. Worn out. For example, I was worn out after the marathon. Number four, weary. Weary. An example sentence, she was weary after having worked round the clock in the hospital. If you want to know what to work round the clock means, check out the previous lesson on 10 C2 idioms. You can find the link to this lesson in the description box. Number five, burned out. Burned out. For example, it's essential to rest Otherwise, you'll get burned out. Number six, dog tired. Dog tired. Let's put it into an example sentence. I was dog tired after climbing Chachani in Peru. Number seven, wecked, or we can add out, wecked out. For example, rest up, you look wecked. Number eight, wiped, or the same, wiped out. An example sentence, I'm wiped, I'm going to bed. Number nine, the American adjective, zonked, zonked. For example, I was zonked after a long journey from Spain to Australia. Okay, now we're going to look at three British synonyms. Number 10, shattered, shattered. For example, I was shattered after the training session. Number 11, this adjective is super common in the UK. Nugget. Nugget. For example, I'm too nugget to go out tonight. And last but not least, stonkered. Stonkered. For example, I was completely stonkered after climbing Mount Rinjani in Lombok. And guys, before we continue and learn more synonyms for our last adjective, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you're subscribed to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And last but not least, I'm gonna give you nine synonyms to replace the adjective surprised. The first synonym on my list is gobsmacked. Gobsmacked. It means you are so surprised that you can't speak. For example, I was gobsmacked when Rory from Cambridge English teacher Rory chose me as one of the best Cambridge English teachers. If you want to watch this video, click on the card over there. Thank you very much, Rory. Number two, staggered. Staggered. For example, 
I was staggered to hear that Sara Carbonero and Iker Casillas broke up. Our next adjective is super fun to pronounce, flabbergasted. Flabbergasted. It means to be surprised and shocked because something unexpected happened. For example, Kate was flabbergasted when she found out that she won the lottery. Unfortunately, this example is not about me. Number four, astonished. Astonished. For example, I was astonished to see how quickly she learned Spanish. Number five, amazed. Amazed. For example, I'm amazed at your progress. Number six, speechless. Speechless. For example, he was speechless when she turned down his marriage proposal. I recommend listening to the song Champagne Problems by Taylor Swift and it's just about this incident. And in fact, Taylor uses speechless in the song. Number seven, taken aback. Taken aback. For example, I was taken aback when I knew about his fatal motorbike accident. Two more to go, number eight, stunned. Stunned. For example, I was stunned when she told me she was getting divorced. And last but not least, astounded. Astounded. Let's put it into an example sentence. He was astounded to see how much his life changed overnight. So guys, that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this English bit and found it useful. If you haven't seen the first edition, check it out right here. In this edition, we look at 10 adjectives and their synonyms. And the adjectives are happy, sad, big, small, nervous, angry, hard and difficult, interesting, intelligent and perfect. So if you haven't seen it yet, you can find it right here. And guys, if you learned something new, I would be very grateful if you could give this lesson a huge thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to English Beats and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!